Hello, my name is Adam Khan, and this is my partner, Redding. My name is Redding, and I am Adam's partner in the Metropolitan School of Panama Exhibition Project. Our goal is Life Below Water, which is the term goal 14. Our target is target 1.14. By 2025, stop or reduce all ocean pollution. So this is our podcast and let's get started. So we got these questions and let's answer them. Okay, so Redding, take it away. Thank you, Adam. Mm -hmm. So you might ask, what are oil spills? Because, well, first of all, our target is oil spills. That is what we are working on. So you might ask, what are oil spills? Very big question. So oil spills are when a boat has a leakage of petroleum or just oil that it is carrying around. Petroleum is gasoline. Adam? Okay, so basically, now, how many gallons of oil do we spill in the ocean? Very well, good question. Not, well, basically, there's no precise answer, but I do know the year. It is, it is about, I think, 1.3 million gallons a year, normally a year. That is quite that, a lot. That but is that, a lot, Adam. But back then it was way worse, sir. But but we should be grateful as technology today. So you also might ask, why are oil spills dangerous? Very, very well, interesting. Oil spills are dangerous because they will spread into the ocean and then they will go into beaches or it'll just spread across the ocean. And then all animals that go close to the surface will get affected. Plus, this is not good because it could destroy whole ecosystems. And food chains. Those are very important. Yeah. Including us. Okay. You also may ask, also, how does an oil spill happen? Like Redding said, a boat might have some oil, crude oil. It's basically oil. They're called oil tankers. They're ginormous boats. It used to become little sailboats in history. Now we have these huge mega super tankers, like the Amico disaster, uh, the oil spill of the century. Not a good one. Yes, Very the bad. Amico Cadiz. That was a terrible oil spill. The documentary. There is actually a documentary on Disney Plus, if you have it, called Oil Spill of the Century. It's free to watch if you have a subscription to Disney Plus, and it's very informal. Very, very Unfun bad. Fun fact, or oily fact about the Amoco Cadiz spill is that about 200,000 tons of oil was spilled into the ocean near a little town or near the country in France. It was a coastal town. Near a coastal town in France called Breton. You remember the name? Yeah, it sounded like Britain to me. So, but basically what I'm saying is that the Amoco was a super tanker. We have these ginormous tankers, but you will regret those tankers because those are very big. And if they sink, lots of oil goes away. But am I saying, I'm saying is, how does an oil spill happen? Well, if the boat is sinking or there's a fire or a problem, this, it goes down and eventually it may, there's a hole there and it leaks all of that oil from its tanks. And then what, it keeps doing and doing that until it's empty. And it takes years to maybe, and maybe months to, or years to dissolve or even clean it up. Yeah, so there was an oil spill in Mexico from an oil rig where they pump out oil from underground. And well, yeah. the oil was spilling for about 90 days. And then it took like a few years to clean up. So we really need to stop oil spills. Okay, so we have, um, we have two oil 
two more questions about oil spills that we think you might ask. But so, I, hold on, ready? I just realized something. We, yeah. the viewers may not know what's an oil rig. So basically there's a big station in the water. They may be floating or they may be connected to the ground and they dig for oil in the sea ocean. But I'm not done. How does an oil spill happen? It's basically ship sinking, an oil tanker, oil goes out and bad consequences. Now, Redding, take it away to our next questions. Thank you, Adam. So you also might ask, what animals are affected by oil spills? The I very think this question. is a very, very important question and something that a lot of people will ask. So most animals that are, the animals that are most affected are animals such as seabirds and ocean otters. Because otters, they swim on the surface of the water because they are mammals. And birds, they will hunt into the water. They will hunt fish in the water. And they do that by diving down into the water and grabbing the fish in their mouth. So if there's an oil spill, then the birds will get covered in oil and then they won't be able to fly and then they will drown. Actually, very hey, ready. Ready. that's true. That's a very true fact. I can connect something to the otters. I've actually studied otters. It was my... In school, I think last year we were studying, making a paper about them. So I chose my otter as my main animal, correct? I learned that they're very important to the ecosystem. They take the sea urchins and they eat them or else it can destroy kelp forests. And if the oil kills the sea otters, then we have no kelp forest. Then that affects the fish who live in the kelp forest and the fish who need hide from predators. And then those predators eat all of the fish and then the predators die because they're starving to death. Wow, it's a big I did not know change. that, Adam. That is really cool. Uh, yeah, I used to watch a lot of stuff when I was... Uh, yeah, so now for the final question. Adam, take it away. Okay, this is our final question, so hang in there, okay? Can oil spills harm humans? As we said, the Amico disaster is a big example or evidence. So basically, so basically in the Amico disaster, a few days after the oil was leaking out from the super tanker or the down super tanker. So they, and then a few days later, the oil destroyed all of these oysters. And there was a group of family of farm oysters, a beginner. And today they're very known for their nice oysters, but back then, it nearly devastated their whole business in the food chain. And yeah, I heard can, that the family, the owner was so sad that he died. He literally died because of sadness, because of oil spill. Really? And really? also, another fact about the Amacoca is that people couldn't really go into the ocean and fish because all the water was covered in oil. Not to mention all the fish who died. Yeah, and another fun fact is about, about that is that now where the oil spill happened in Breton, France, they now have a very, very good method of cleaning up oil spills. So Wait. they'll get big bulldozers and push the oil to a part of the beach that where the waves are really, really strong. And then can, the waves will get all the oil out into the water and separate the oil from the sand. And then they'll suck up all the oil and just drain it out of the ocean. And boom, no more oil. And they said it takes about 15 minutes. It, that's a good, that compares to the Gulf of Mexico, how they had to clean that up. I say Britain is very... Britain may be in the past, but I think it's thinking ahead of the future in oil spills. Yeah. Good job, Brian. So that was our final, that was our first episode. Hope to 
I hope that you keep watching, and we will see you in the next episode. Oh, hey, guys, if you want to hear some more facts, well, this is the book for you. Oh, well, you can't see it. It's an invisible book. Okay, anyway, uh, so that's how, so it can harm humans by the food chain. And like Redding said, good, bye. Bye. bye.